Good morning. This is a quick tutorial on how to access and use Insight 360 at the Shepherd Express. So we're going to cover how to access Insight 360, how to generate reports and get those reports from Insight 360, and where to file the reports once you gather them from Insight 360. So accessing Insight 360 is fairly easy. You just go to this website right here in the middle. Um, when you go there, you just Enter the URL right there. Now you can't see it. Um, your username is Shepherd at Insight 360, and the password is simply 1234567. And you can give access to this to your CE, to your delivery drivers, to anyone that needs it, uh, anyone that asks for it, or anyone that might have use for these records. Uh, that would be your environmental people on, on the installation, uh, air program, UST program, whoever it may be, and they can access any of these reports at any time. They can also see what's going on with your tanks anytime. So this is what the website looks like. It's Insight 360. You put the shepherd at Insight 360 in this box, and you put the password in this box. Click Remember Me, sign in. Uh, I would bookmark it up here so that you can access it anytime you need it and share the bookmark with other people in your store or your GM or your business managers or whoever may need access to it. Insight 360 is fairly easy to use. Once you log in, this will be the first thing you see. And this is just an overview of your site. It shows how many active alarms there are, that's communicating correctly, how many days supply it has, uh, inventory amounts and if there's any water in the fuel and then the other stuff appears really just we use it worldwide but you're not going to use it so much on site gives you your current stock for your tanks on site if you click the network up here the second thing down you click that it'll take you to this next page where you can see what is going on with your site so here you have the, all the tanks in your system. So you have unleaded, unleaded two, and you have a premium. You can see how much there is in that. You can see the net volume, see how high the fuel is. Ullage is the free space in there. So it shows you how much free space you have in your tanks. It shows you if you have any water in your tanks and then any variances you may have and then other stuff that I don't usually deal with. And of course, it has your contact information here so that they can reach out to you uh, from VitaRoot if they have any issues. So once you get to this page, there's two ways to get to a report. Um, well, you can get to a report by clicking these three buttons up here if you just want to go straight to any report. But if you want to access your site, click anywhere in the side of the square, and it'll take you to this page. This page gives you a lot more information about your facility, about the tanks themselves, about what's going on. You can see all the stuff in there, the addresses. Uh, make sure if there's a, the contact information up here is correct for your manager so that if they have alarms, they can reach you when they have those alarms. I hope you didn't hear my Roomba. My Roomba wants to be moved. Yay. So anyway, uh, to get to the reports, like I said, you click up here in the top. There's three buttons up there, um, and that'll take you to the environmental compliance page. What you do is that when you click those three buttons, there'll be a drop down. I don't know why it's number 12, but site compliance is what you're going to click on to get to the environmental compliance reports. So once you click on that, it'll pop up. And you're going to have to be patient because it takes a while to load. Uh, once it does load, which will probably be 35 to 45 seconds before it finally loads, um, and I found it best to do this in Chrome. I don't know if it even works in Internet Explorer. Once you get it open, this will be the first page you see. And it's the compliance site summary for the year. So it gives you what's been going on the whole year. And we don't usually pay a lot of attention to this unless you want to go back. Say uh, an inspector comes and he wants to report from July 2021. You can pop this up and then just click anywhere. Any of these URLs in here, they're all 
linked. So it'll open the report from July 2021 and you can print that off and give it to the inspector. At the bottom of this page, you'll have two tabs. You're on the compliance site summary page. What you want to do is click the compliance site detail tab. And once you click that, it'll pop right over to the compliance site detail report. This is what you're going to print out and put into your binders. This is the report that shows what is going on with your leak detection devices. The first section is tanks, and it shows the interstitial monitor for all these tanks is in a normal status. Normal is what you want to see. That's what is required by regulations. For the line leak detectors, which is the lines is the next thing, you want it all to say pass. So if those say pass, you're good to go. And then the sensors. You've got sensors in your STP sumps. That's your sumps on top of your tanks. And as long as those are normal, you're good to go. So once you get this, you just click at the top and you can download it as a PDF to your computer or you can print it directly from this screen. I would recommend downloading it somewhere, keeping a file of all these so that you can email them easily to someone else if you need to. Um, so if you need to access inventory control reports, it's the same drop down and you click site variance instead of site compliance. Or if you want, you can click this area right here and you can get to the inventory control reports, the exact same reports, uh, just through a different method of getting there. Once you get to the inventory control reports, they take a little while to load to. Um, all you're looking for is this green area down here at the bottom and it says you are not leaking, that you're within tolerance. So you print this for each tank. You're going to have, um, this is tank one. You would print one for tank one, tank two, tank three, however many tanks you have on site, and put those in your binder two. When I talk about binder two, the next thing we go to is you should have three binders on site. These 30-day release detection results, you should print one every month or every 30 days and put it in this binder underneath this tab right here where it says 30-day release detection results. And you'll print the environmental compliance report and the inventory control report and put those both behind this tab right here. And that's all you need to do. And that's all I have for this. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in time. And I'll be happy to help you out.